Welcome. In this video, you will learn how to create residential buildings with multiple sub-projects in the Edge app. Multiple sub-projects are required when residential buildings have units with a different number of bedrooms. They may also be required for units with the same number of bedrooms when the areas of the units differ from the average by more than 10%. This is the 10% rule of Edge. For more detailed examples, feel free to refer to the user guide. Let's build an apartment in Vietnam with two and three bedroom units. Our building is a single tower. To get started, log into the Edge app. From the menu on the left, select the Homes typology. Now, enter the project details for our apartment building. The number of distinct buildings field represents the number of buildings in your project. While our building will have multiple apartments, they are part of a single building. So, we enter a number 1 in the text field. If our project included two towers, we would indicate 2 here. The same is true if there were multiple landed homes, where we would include the total number of homes. This is an important field for tracking purposes that does not impact calculations in Edge. Now, let's enter the sub-project details for our two-bedroom apartments. The sub-project multiplier field is reserved for special instances where there are towers that are identical. For example, if there were two towers that are the same, we would enter the number 2. This field does impact calculations in Edge. Since our project is a single tower, let's enter the number 1. We won't indicate the number of units until later in the Building Data section. Next, we need to complete the Location and Building Data sections of our project. In the Building Data section, let's indicate the number of two-bedroom apartments in our building. Once we've completed these steps, we can save our project. Next, let's go to our dashboard. We can reopen our saved project at any time to continue designing our building. To create our second sub-project for a three-bedroom apartment, click the Create New button. We'll begin by entering our same project name. Select the corresponding project from the drop-down menu. The project details will auto-populate. We can check to make sure we selected the right project by clicking on Associated Sub-Projects. Next, we need to enter the sub-project, location, and building data details for our three-bedroom apartments. We can now save our second sub-project. We can check to ensure both sub-projects are associated with our project in the Project Details section. Finally, remember to also check that the total project floor area matches the aggregate floor area of our project. Now that our sub-projects are linked, we can continue to design, register and certify our apartment building.